there are a lot of design build firms that that will not work with outside architecture firms and i think in milwaukee um in the state of wisconsin madison included there's a lot of talented design firms that we have partnered with in the past and yeah. and it's been a good result um i my opinion is still that you know our process internally is is the best to go with but we're not we're not so ego driven that we That's won't right. apply um the right team and the right approach for a client that that demands it or yeah. or that we think necessitates it mm -hmm. you know we're not going to we're not going to pad our pockets at the expense of the client's vision um and the client's goals so yeah i mean a significant portion of our revenues are working with outside design firms and we also like to maintain those relationships because mm -hmm. those are also long-term relationships as well we don't want to step on any of those toes um, but those exterior firms can appreciate working with oliver because we know the processes that they need to go through to design a building and we also have made design changes internally based on how constructible um, those designs might play out. So one of the nice things that working with outside architectural firms is that we can still put their be best interest in mind and we do know the process. Yeah, we basically teach them the process as we go through. So the, some of the repeat architects that we work with are learning basically as a benefit to the owner, they don't have to draw as much um, because basically we, we take it over from a design build standpoint. And in some cases I've even helped projects through, um, trying to get, resolve a certain issue that might be costly. We're just opening up our, our end of the, um, the team, even though it is separate architect. And I'd be talking to the architects about the same detail and they're, you know, it's just getting that communication again. And, um, they just become a part of the team. Um, we try to transform those architects to design build, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but they've been coming coming back. So it's still, you know, it just works. It's just, you know, what Greg says. We're we're flexible and we're not ego driven. We're we're cost and client driven. Yeah, I think I think it's actually easier for us to work with. Uh, large design studios sometimes because we're starting out in the initial meetings with them from a similar perspective. Um, we have that, that knowledge and those capabilities in house. We understand their process, um, to an extent that most general contractors wouldn't. Um, so again, we're not, we're not playing catch up. We're, we're driven towards the same ends and we're speaking the same language. Your existing plans past our, uh, design professionals in house, uh, probably, at, at no cost to the owner, but we're going to get some value engineering ideas out of it and we'll have different perspectives, um, to bring to the table, which I think is only a value add to the owner, um, in the long run. So I, you know, I would say if you're, if you're an owner that already has, um, started the design process, don't, don't let that deter you from, from coming and talking to Oliver. <laughs>